Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on hosting or hosting, and then how you can migrate a website to your new domain. So, if you are planning to have a website, then you can just follow the link in the description, which will take you to this page, and you can get a huge discount on hosting or hosting. And you can select a hosting from this drop down. If you need a web hosting, you can select this one. You can choose website builder, cloud hosting, and you can choose WordPress hosting in case you are planning to have a WordPress website. So let's say I need a WordPress hosting, so I'll click this. This will take me to this page and here I can scroll down and I can select a package based on my needs. Now the most popular one is this one. Here you can host 100 websites, 100 GB of SSD storage, free email, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited databases. And with all these three plans, you will also get a free domain for one year. So you can select one of these plans and you can add their to cart. And then this will take you to its checkout page where you can buy this hosting for 1 month, 12 months, 24 and 48. So the more time you choose the more discount you will get. So here you can see this is for 48 months. And you can create an account or you can just sign up using your Facebook or Google, Gmail. Then select your payment method so you can pay with all these methods. And this is the subtotal as you can see and just 143 you will get this hosting for 4 years with a free domain name. So here you can put your details, you can click on submit secure payment and that's it. Once you get this hosting this will take you to its dashboard where you can manage your website. And this is how your dashboard will look. Here you can go to home where you can see your hosting plans, your domains, your emails and so on. And you can go to websites where you can manage your website, your hosting, your emails, domains and so on. And to manage your hosting, you can click on manage under this hosting. So this will be your hosting name and you can click on manage. And now you can access your dashboard, your WordPress installation, your emails, your domains and you can access your file manager, your databases and so on. And here I will choose a new domain and will show you how you can install WordPress. So this is the new domain. And we are going to install WordPress on this domain. So to install WordPress, you can scroll down. You can click on websites. And here you can choose WordPress. If you don't see WordPress here, you will see auto installer. So just click on that and you can select WordPress. So let's click on WordPress. And if you want to detect WordPress on your domain, you can click on this to detect WordPress. But I know that I don't have WordPress installation on this domain. So I'll click on install WordPress. This will open a pop-up where you can put your website title, your admin email, your username and password. And then you can open advanced settings and you can fill up these details also. So let me quickly write these details. So I enter my website title, an admin email, a username and password. And then I'll choose the domain name where I want to install WordPress. And here make sure you choose HTTPS to make it secure and install SSL also. Don't enter a subdirectory because we want our website directly on this domain. And here you can change the database password but I don't recommend this. You can leave this as default and then click on next. Then you can select the WordPress version, the WordPress language, the disk space and the maximum PHP version is fine. And here you can decide the updates so you can turn this off or you can update only to minor versions or you can always update to the latest version available. So the recommended one here is this one. So we will choose this one and we will click on install. And that's it. Now you can see WordPress has been installed on our website. And this is force HTTPS which is fine. You can enable and disable maintenance mode from your dashboard. You can use this large speed plugin for your caching. This is object caching. You can also turn this on. From here you can flash cache and this is the WordPress update, you can change the WordPress version here. So these are some updates that you can do from your dashboard. You can go to staging, security and learn with us. But the rest of the things can be handled in the WordPress dashboard. So to access the WordPress dashboard, you can click on edit website. And this will take you to your WordPress dashboard where you can start managing your website. You can install themes, plugins and you can start creating your website. Let's close this. This is editing a WordPress post, but to access the dashboard, you can go back here. And this is the WordPress dashboard. This is on our domain, and now we can manage our website. 
So here you can go to appearance, you can install a theme and you can start customizing that theme, you can install plugins and so on. And that's it, that is how you can install WordPress on hosting or hosting. Now let's see how we can migrate a website to this domain. Now if I visit this website, you can see we don't have anything on this website, this is just a hello world post. So let's migrate a website to this domain. And for this I have a website which is this one and uh, this is a real estate website and i'll migrate this to that domain so let's see how we can migrate this for this we can use hosting or hosting also so let's go to our hosting and here we will go to websites and here you can see migrate website so we will click on this and you will see your website requests here if you don't have one you can click on add request and now we can choose WordPress. If you are using any other technology, you can use cPanel or other control panels. And for that, you will have to back up your website files. You can upload those files to your online storages like Google Drive, OneDrive, etc. And you can paste that link. And the rest of the process will be handled by Hostinger. Now, we are using WordPress, so we will choose WordPress here. And select the destination website. So, to which website we are going to transfer, we will select that, which is the new domain and we will use WordPress login and we will write our WordPress dashboard URL, our username and password. So let me quickly fill this. We can use this and we will write WP admin. We will write our username and password and then we will click on submit request. Now this will check these details and if these were fine, this will start migrating. So you can see chosen website already has files. So we already have a WordPress installation on that website and it's okay, we can continue. And now you can see you, you have successfully submitted migration request and this is now pending. Now we will have to wait for this and once it completed, I'll show you how the website looks. So let's wait for this. Once we refresh the page, you will see this is now in progress. So let's wait for this again. And after a few minutes, let's check this again. So I'll refresh the page. And this is still in progress, so we will have to wait for this. Let's check again. Now you can see it's completed, so we can check our domain now. So let's visit this. And you can see we got a complete website on this domain now. We have all the pages, the logo, animations and the properties and so on. And let me also show you the dashboard. So if I log into the dashboard. By the way, you will use the login of the old website, okay? From which you have transferred the website because the WordPress files have those old login. So I'll quickly fill this. We'll click on login. And now you can see we have a new theme here, which is Bloxy. We have a static plugin. And if I go to plugins, we have all these plugins and if i go to pages we have all those pages so this was how you can install wordfish on hosting or hosting and then you can migrate a ready website to your new domain and if you want to learn more about wordfish and elementor you can visit my channel i have lots of videos about wordfish and elementor and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next